Have you noticed wedding photographers are using flash to get an edgy editorial look to their images? Are you daunted at the thought of using your flash? You don't need to learn how to use manual flash and overcomplicate your settings. Let me show you how. In this video, we'll give you three simple steps to achieve that editorial flash look. We have also created a flash cheat sheet, but more on that later. Let's dive in. So what are these three easy steps you ask? Number one is TTL settings. Number two is underexpose the ambient light. And number three is flash zoom. Let's get into what all of these mean. Modern speed lights or on-camera flashes make it easy to nail your flash settings without too much thought. You may have seen a setting on your flash that says TTL. TTL means through the lens, which basically means the flash is setting its output by reading what your camera settings are. If you don't feel confident using a flash, you don't need to learn manual flash settings right now. This is just gonna overcomplicate things. We can simplify this process so you can get started shooting great flash photos right away. Simply set your flash to TTL and go from there. The next two steps will help you get that editorial flash look. To get that moody look, we first need to get our camera settings right. Your camera settings will determine how your final image will look and the mood you create. First, we'll start with our flash off and then we'll get our camera settings right. Personally, I like to underexpose the ambient light by about one to two stops, which will give a moodier feel to the images. Any lights that are in shot, like floor lamps, hanging lights and candles will appear well exposed for, but the ambient light in the room will appear quite dark. Once we have these settings dialed in, we can now turn on our flash, make sure it's in TTL mode and fire some test shots. You can adjust your camera settings to get the right mood, but generally this will get you pretty close to getting that editorial flash look. If you find that your flash is outputting too much light or not enough light, you can use the exposure compensation on your flash to decrease or increase the light output from your flash. One thing that I find adds even more mood to an image is using the flash zoom. This simple setting changes the way your flash outputs light. Generally, your flash will output light so it evenly covers your image. When you zoom your flash, it concentrates the light more in the center of your image. This is another setting you can experiment with, but will give you a nice mood to your images. These steps will not only work indoors, but you can apply it outside as well. A little bonus tip, if you wanna get that slow shutter flash look, try these simple camera settings. Set your aperture to f4 or f5.6 and set your shutter speed to around 1 15th of a second. We generally use these settings for the dance floor during the reception. Dial in your ISO to a point where you're underexposing the ambient light by about two stops. This will give you a great starting point. If the room is quite dark, like the dance floor, adjust your ISO or make your shutter speed slower to adjust your exposure. When I use this technique, I like to move the camera around as I'm taking photos. This matches the energy of the dance floor while also dragging the lights through the image. For different light trails, you can move your camera like this as you're taking the image. You can also do this or just kind of move around while people are dancing. So get creative, be a little bit experimental and see what you get. So there are three simple steps to help you get that moody editorial flash look. To help you nail your flash settings, we have created a flash cheat sheet. This cheat sheet dives deeper into specific camera and flash settings and when to use them. If you're interested, you can download the cheat sheet via the link in the description. If you like this video, you might like this video here where we take you through the behind the scenes of a bridal fashion photo shoot. If you'd like more valuable tips like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button below.